Okay, good morning. Day two here in Mauritius. Super overcast today. So we've decided to go explore a bit of the island. Today we're gonna check out the south bit of Mauritius. Um, apparently it's got the most scenic uh, of places to offer. So we are gonna hop into our car uh, and get going. We've got a lot to do today. Starting off early, 8.30 in the morning. We'll be back around 4, 4.30, just before the sun sets, uh, because it's winter here in Mauritius. So, South Mauritius, here we come. Let's go. Okay, first stop is uh, what's it called again, babe? The Toa Osef. True Osef. It just seems like a big old dormant volcano. Tourist attraction. Apparently, it's a dormant volcano that's never erupted. Uh, they say that it's connected to a big volcano in a neighboring island, La Revolution. La Réunion. La, La Réunion. And they say that it's connected to uh, that very active volcano there, so all the lava goes there. Whether or not that's true, who knows, but uh, cool little story. Uh, to be honest, it's not the most... The, the, view, the view that way is actually nicer. But uh, it just seems like a lot of tourists and a half decent view. I'm gonna get the drone up real quick, see if there's um, the crater. Cause it's a big crater, but you can, can't really see. But we'll see if uh, there's a cooler view from there. And then we'll probably head out to the next spot. So uh, cut to the drone footage. And uh, that was the volcano or crater. I think actually it would be quite nice maybe in the morning. If you come at sunrise or sunset or sometime when there's not many people, uh, probably cool little experience. But that's the viewpoint there. You can see that when there's a lot of tourists. It's probably not the most authentic experience, but if you're just standing with a good old camera, this is the view. Not too bad. Oops, sorry. But, um... Oh, kind of cool picture. Oh, did you? Oh, that is quite nice. Yeah. Let's flash to uh, Rachel's iPhone photography. And then uh, on to the next spot. Let's go. Okay, we're here at the biggest lake in Mauritius. It's called the Mar Ovakwa. Massive lake, looks like that. Uh, biggest one here in Mauritius. It reminds me a bit of uh, Canada and the lakes in Canada, in Ontario specifically. Looks like you can camp up a nice little cottage over here. Very beautiful. I think I'll get the drone up, get a few shots. Uh, so let's, let's take a look now, actually. Okay, our next stop 
is a holy lake here in Mauritius, surrounded by beautiful temples, dotted with intricate and colorful statues uh, of Hindu origin. The main religion here in Mauritius is Hinduism, so you can see that there's a big Hindu influence here. So our next stop is what you see behind me here, a holy lake called Grand Besson. A uh, very beautiful, peaceful place. You got beautiful temples all around, trees and pathways to kind of explore and get lost on. So uh, we're gonna go check out the statues and uh, enjoy it a bit. And then on to the next one. on our little tour of the south is La Vallée nature park where we are going to find ourselves some quad bikes uh, and explore through the forest of Mauritius so should be good let's uh let's go see what kind of quads we can get and then uh we'll hit the road let's go Just like that, our ATV quad bike adventure is finished. A lot of fun, definitely recommend it at uh, La Vallée uh, if you're ever around in Mauritius. Uh, really good fun, lots of cool stuff to see, lots of beautiful Mauritius nature uh, to get lost in. Uh, so highly, highly recommend it. But we're done now, uh, got the adventure bit out of the way. Now I think we're either going to head back to the hotel or head to another waterfall that's supposed to be really nice. But we'll make that decision in the car and uh, we'll see you wherever we end up. Let's go. Alright, our next stop on the tour of Mauritius is a waterfalls called Alexandra Falls. It's supposed to be very beautiful and there's supposed to be a very nice viewpoint as well. So we're going to go check that out now. We've got a little three, four minute walk ahead of us from the parking lot uh, to where the viewpoint is. So we're going to go there now. 
and uh, we're gonna show you the view. Let's go. There you go. Don't even have to do any talking. <laughs> All right. Next stop is Black River Gorge. Actually, it looks pretty epic already. To yeah, it does look massive. Yeah, this wow. Be the best one, so and um, apparently, there's some unique white bird that can only be found here. Maybe we can catch sight of one. But I can just see the gorge now. It looks very, very big and very very epic let's go have a look Walking up to the viewpoint of Chamaral Falls and it looks beautiful. Check it out. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We're gonna walk up to a little higher vantage point and see uh, how the view's up there. Here we go. And uh, it's a completely, ooh, nice sun flare there. Completely different angle and view of the fall. Definitely come check out this waterfall though, Chamaral, because it's really, really epic, really beautiful. You know what I love too, babe, is that it's not too busy. Mm. Yeah, none of the places we've been have been. Yeah, very which busy. I really appreciate. I don't know if it's because it's like low season and it's winter, but we, all the places, that we've been to, there's only been like a handful, at most like five or six people. Uh, so this is the same. Actually, the one that had the most people was that dormant volcano we went to at the beginning. Uh, so this is much better. But enough talking, check out this view. Okay. Uh, and I think that is the end of our tour for today jam-packed, saw a lot of things. The south coast of Mauritius is definitely very beautiful and scenic. Highly, highly recommend it. I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, we're gonna head back, hopefully catch a sunset, grab a bit of dinner, 
and then call it a night and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. Um, I lied guys, there's still one more thing to see. It's the seven colored earth here at Chamarel. Um, it is what it is, seven colored earth. Uh, so we're gonna check that out before we sign it off. Here we go. Okay, so this is officially it now. This is the last part of our tour today, for real this time. Seven colored sands, the sun is setting, Rach is ready for some dinner, and so am I. Yeah. So we're gonna head back to the hotel, and uh, we're gonna say goodnight, and we'll catch you when we catch you. We got a wedding coming up on the weekend. Tomorrow we're not quite sure what we're gonna do. We're either gonna lounge or we're gonna do some hiking. We'll see how we feel tomorrow. Uh, but until then, this is us saying peace. So, you have some big travels planned for this year, but are you traveling safe? I'm happy to have partnered with Safety Wing, who have helped make this video possible. Safety Wing is the world's first international travel medical insurance developed to meet the needs of entrepreneurs and remote workers traveling or living abroad worldwide. The travel insurance that Safety Wing provides includes travel medical insurance, which gives you access to a qualified global network of hospitals and doctors for unexpected medical problems and access. Accidents. It includes coverage for doctors, hospitals, and even emergency medical evacuation. Safety Wing also offers coverage for travel delay, lost checked luggage, emergency response, natural disasters, and personal liability. Make sure your travels are covered this year and check out Safety Wing so that you can travel abroad with peace of mind. And to celebrate the new year and the change of the decade, I'm also excited to have partnered with Pharma Doctor, who are making achieving those New Year's resolutions easier with their alcohol reduction, smoking cessation, and weight loss services. The best thing about Pharma Doctor is that it helps you avoid having to schedule those inconvenient GP appointments two weeks in advance and having to wait in line the same day of that appointment. Pharma Doctor makes it easy to find a local pharmacy across the UK that offers these services, some of which aren't even available yet on the NHS. It gives you access to thousands of participating pharmacies that can help you reduce your alcohol consumption, quit smoking altogether, and achieve that weight loss goal you've been aiming for. Hop on their website now and find a local pharmacy ready to help near you. One, 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 oh, one shot, now the future for sure, let's go! Yeah, I was building on the lecture, versus coming daily under pressure. Working on the plot and the scheme, the true side.